Hey, it's Erin. I thought it would be fun to document my contest prep going into the Sacramento Pro, which is about five weeks out, and of course getting ready for the Bikini Olympia, which is about nine weeks away. So with each video, I want to give you a sneak peek as to what my current training is like. I'll take you through one of my workouts, my thoughts behind the workouts, kind of the motivation and what I'm looking to improve upon from week to week, along with calories and macros. We'll kind of discuss how things change from week to week based on progress. I'll also show you a little bit of posing and just generally give you updates. So this is kind of like a mishmash of things. You're gonna get some training, some food, some mindset prep. If there's anything specifically that you wanna see, please comment below. Um, I'm doing these videos weekly, so it's pretty easy to adjust on the fly. So right now, my current caloric intake is 2300, give or take. I wrote my macros down because I can never remember them. So I'm at 180 grams of protein, 300 grams of carbs, and about 40 grams of fat. So currently eating pretty well, and that is in a caloric deficit. So I am still consistent. I'm still consistently dropping weight each week. And as far as dropping weight, I typically don't like to weigh in, but I do like to drop about half a percent to 1% of my weight each week. So current weight is 134 pounds. So I'm looking at a pound to 1.3 pounds per week weight loss. And this is just going to help to guarantee that I maintain as much lean mass as possible while losing an optimal amount of body fat. So if we drop too much, we have the tendency to lose muscle, which we don't wanna do because we work so hard to put it on. And once you get closer to contests, if you have basically no calories that are coming in, you know, let's say, you know, people get to 800 calories, they're doing two hours of cardio and they don't have a lot of tools in the tool belt to make adjustments. So what I do is I try to increase the volume intensity of the workouts, keep my caloric intake as high as possible and not add cardio in until I absolutely have to. That being said, I am doing HIIT twice a week. I do get 10,000 steps per day and I'm tracking that on my trusty Fitbit. <laughs> I'm currently lifting four days per week, um, sometimes five. And this is three to four days per week for glutes and one upper body maintenance day. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing a little bit of HIIT and upper body maintenance. So when you're looking at getting ready for a competition, you want to look at what you have currently built and compare it to the ideal. So for me, it's not about training how I wanna train. I absolutely love training upper body, but I don't need to train upper body for bikini because I'm coming from the figure background. I've lost about nine pounds from my upper body. <laughs> so I don't need to put any more um, muscle on my upper body, but I do want to maintain the width across the shoulders. So I'm gonna be focusing quite a bit on those lateral or the medial delt and the rear delt. And both are going to give that beautiful width. It sort of rounds out that V taper, makes the waist look smaller, and can really help balance the upper to the lower. So without further ado, let's go hit the gym and train. Today's workout is HIT followed by upper body maintenance. Now for the HIT, I'm wearing a chest heart rate monitor. This is the Wahoo app. Absolutely love it. It's very accurate. And the goal here is to get my heart rate to 80 to 85% of max. And I'm gonna go five rounds of 45 seconds all out, giving myself full recovery in between each sprint. And a sprint is just an something you can go all out on. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a sprint at the track. You can do it on the rower, the assault bike, stairs, treadmill, anything you can go all out on. So here, getting that heart rate up to max and letting it get back down to about 60% in between. All right, into upper body maintenance days. This is my absolute favorite lateral raise variation. This is the Poliquin raise. Now, this allows you to go much heavier than you would normally go on lateral raise. So you're actually kind of self-spotting yourself by doing a short lever lateral raise, extending your arms and really controlling that negative. Very, very important to keep that constant tension, control the negative and 
I'm gonna do three sets of eight to 10 reps here, giving myself a nice recovery in between each one, really keeping that tension, really focusing on just using the lateral delts here. Of course, you can see those rear delts stabilizing too. On two face pulls, I'm gonna do three sets of 15 here. I'm gonna keep my elbows nice and high. I'm gonna pull that rope to about nose or chin height, keeping the weight light, keeping the reps rather high. This is going to help to ensure that I'm hitting just those rear delts, not hitting the lats. The goal is very, very specific here. I'm not trying to grow my back at all. I wanna give just a little bit more density and size to those rear delts. Keeping constant tension, trying to keep the rest of the body still, and really paying attention on those elbows, keeping those elbows up, and really engaging those rear delts from the very beginning of that pull. Very, very important. And here I'm just taking my time in between sets too, about 45 seconds to a minute and a half, depending on how I feel. All right, next we're going to dumbbell pullovers. This is an excellent exercise for hitting teres, which is that tiny little muscle underneath the shoulder. It's um, right above the lat. It's gonna help give really beautiful width to that upper back. And here I'm making sure to keep constant tension, keeping the same bend in the elbow throughout. This is gonna help keep that tricep out of the equation. You're gonna feel it a little in your chest because you're gonna stabilize with your chest. But if you're really focusing on just pushing that dumbbell forward as you come up, you should feel it more in the teres. And exhale as you push the weight and really, really control that weight on the way down. Get nice full range of motion. Get a little loaded stretching in. That's gonna help increase range of motion. All right, we're gonna hit a little bit of abs. I'm gonna do a hanging pelvic tilt. And what I try to do is really pull in my abs. And the goal here, you wanna think about bringing kind of the front of your pelvis up to your rib cage. So it's a very small range of motion. And this is excellent for helping to kind of bring that waist in and just tighten everything up. So I'm gonna do three sets of 20 reps here and really, really careful to keep that constant tension on the abs. And it doesn't look like much, but this is a killer. You can also use the arm loops if your grip isn't as strong. Um, I don't think the gym has it. All right, so here we're moving into posing practice and I'm just working on taking my time, keeping those hips back and working on the little nuances to posing. So uh, bikini posing is so much different than figure in that it's just a lot of presentation. You have to bring your particular style and getting some, some good feedback on that front pose, the back pose, and just making sure to keep your glutes up and out the entire time. You don't wanna let them drop and always showing your best angle. So posing was not my strong suit when I first started and I'm actually starting to really love bikini posing. And I practice every single day for about five to 15 minutes per day. It helps a lot to practice every day. That's it for this week's video. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and joining the Fit Fam. And don't forget to check out the links below. I offer free programs, 90 day programs, basically anything you're looking for, you can find it in the description below. If there's anything specifically you'd like to see for the next video, please comment below and I'll make it happen. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, train smart and train hard y'all.